Hi, I'm Dee at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, and today we're going to talk about inertia. Newton's first law of motion says that an object that is at rest will remain at rest, and an object that's in motion will remain in motion unless they're acted upon by an outside force. Today we're going to look at a few examples of just how that works, and we're going to start by examining what's known by some as a Kugel sphere. This is our galaxy ball, and it weighs six tons, but you're going to see how I can move it because of inertia. Now I'm strong, but I'm not strong enough to move a six ton granite ball. Even though the sphere shape helps it be easier to move than if it were a block, it still is at rest, and it's going to want to remain that way. So what we've done here is an engineering marvel. Using upflow of water and a specially shaped basin, we're going to use the water pressure to lubricate this ball so that I can actually get it going with just my own strength. Now it's a little bit hard to get it started at first because an object at rest wants to remain at rest. But if I just push a little bit at first, it gets easier and easier because as it's in motion, it wants to remain in motion. And soon, I don't have to push it at all. It just keeps going. Now the next challenge comes in if we want to stop it because an object in motion wants to remain in motion. So I'm going to have to use all my strength to slow it down and bring it to a stop. And this is even harder because now that the water has lubricated the sphere, the water is actually lubricating everything and so the friction of my hands is lessened. So it's even harder to stop this than it was to start it in the first place. But once I get it to a stop, I can get it started again in any direction I want and trust in inertia to keep it moving. Now, with inertia, we know that an object that is at rest is going to stay at rest. I'm sitting in a very heavy chair right now, which I cannot move. If I pull on this, it doesn't go anywhere. So I need something to lubricate this and make it easier for me to move. The Kugel sphere that we looked at uses water to lubricate. Obviously, I'm not going to flood the floor right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use air to lubricate and I want you to watch and see how different it is and how much more easily I can move this. For safety's sake, I'm going to put on a helmet now. Because inertia also says that an object in motion will remain in motion, astronauts have to train for working in a microgravity environment. Because without Earth's atmosphere and gravity to slow you down, any action that you start in microgravity is just going to keep on happening. If I were in microgravity and pushed off of this truss, I would just keep on drifting out into space, which is why we need to anchor ourselves with tethers to be safe. Our microgravity simulator doesn't allow me to float, but it does allow me to hover on a cushion of air so that I can experience that frictionless environment. 